Hello from Info on Scuba Diving. Well, as you can see here, another box has turned up for us to open and find out what we've been sent. And I actually know it's from Justin at tritongear.com who has sent us over the dry light, which is a permanently sealed dive light for us to try. And I'm really looking forward to having a look at this. Um, it looks extremely uh, lush on the website because it comes in a very attractive uh, plastic carry case. Now it's come all the way from America. We did think at one point we'd lost it because FedEx's tracking system had already said to us the day after it was sent that it had already arrived, but unfortunately it supposedly arrived to somewhere in America. Anyway, we chased it up and uh, it hadn't, of course, and we've got it here. And uh, let's see what we've got. So what we've got here is a little folder that uh, Justin sent me. Uh, with some information, product specifications, uh, 135 lumen, 8 degree torch, so it's a nice narrow beam there that'll penetrate through the water if you've got, uh, say, a lot of murky water or you're on a, a wreck or something like that. Um, it's made of aluminium and uh, the switch is magnetic, the lens type is acrylic. It's good to 300 feet on the sheet here, but in actual fact, um, most of the specs say 250. And I did query this with Justin, and he said, well, after they had this printed, uh, uh, everything sorted, they did take it to 300, and it was fine. So uh, just for the safety, they're saying uh, 250 feet. Anyway, nice little sticker there, and that will go on the box. And uh, they've sent us a, a press release. Then the nice thing about this is because it's... Um, actually a sealed unit, there's no risk of any flooding when you uh, need to recharge it because the charger is an induction charger, which means there's nothing to, no batteries to remove, the intholithium battery stays inside the body of the torch permanently. Nice little box that, so let's open it up and have a look, see what we've got. Interesting, they've got a QR code on there. Now, I don't have a mobile phone that can read that, so uh, I'll have to ask somebody what that does. I would imagine that takes you to their website, which uh, I, I, you can see here, www.tritongear.com, and uh, that will tell you all about it. Now then, let's have a look here. I've actually opened this upside down, so let's turn it the other way up. Typical. All right, okay, so there's a little, little leaflet inside explaining what it does. This looks very nice. That's not heavy, but it does feel substantial. Nice green band on that. Uh, the switch is a magnetic switch to turn it on and off. It's, oh yes, very bright. And it hasn't even been on charge by me yet. So that's the actual torch. So a good size. Comes with a wrist lanyard. There's also a 12 volt DC car charger. Now that's quite useful, so if you're away on a dive site uh, over the weekend, haven't got access to mains, but you've got your car with you, you can use that. Um, there is the mains charger, which appears to come only with the American-style mains socket connection, but obviously you can get uh, international adapters to uh, compensate for that. We've got them ourselves, because everything comes with these sort of plugs on these days, and uh, wherever you go in the world, they're generally a different socket from anywhere else. And of course there's the all-important base station charger itself. Nice little, nice little unit there. So that literally just plugs into either the 12-volt uh, car adapter or to the mains station. There's a little LED on the mains station. And then you pop in the torch as well. I imagine you've got to take the wrist lanyard off when you charge it, so take that off. That then drops in and uh, that'll take about 10 to 12 hours to charge on a main supply and uh, there's no risk of it overcharging so you can actually leave it as uh, a storage device for the torch after you've charged it and it will be quite happy, it won't over overcharge it or do anything nasty. Burn time is about five hours. Uh, once you get down to the last hour or 20% of the uh, capacity left in the battery, the torch will actually blink once every minute to warn you that you're about to uh, run out of, of a charge. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. Let's have a little look. I mean, it's not charged up whatsoever. It's straight out of the box. And that's quite a, a bright 
a bright light already and as you say uh, eight, eight degree beam angle is very good for cutting through the depths of the, uh, the murkiness of, of some water. So Justin, thanks very much over at Triton, uh, Triton Gear and we look forward to trying this out in the water and uh, giving some actual feedback on what it's like. But for now, from Info on Scuba Diving, thanks for watching. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up.